And it reads, this is the message translation. It reads, but for right now, because you've taken up with these newfangled prophets who set themselves up in Babylon as Babylonian specialists, spreading the word, spreading the word, God sent them just for us. God is setting the record straight. As for the king, now check this out, check this out. I, want, I really want you to get this. I really want you to listen to what God is saying in this scripture. As for the king still sitting on David's throne and all the people left in Jerusalem who didn't go into exile with you, they're facing bad times. God of the angels army says, watch this. Catastrophe is on the way. War, hunger, disease. They're, they're a barrel of rotten apples. I'll rid the country of them though through war and hunger and disease. The whole world is going to hold its nose at the smell, shut, uh, shut its eyes at the horrible sight. They'll, they'll, they'll end up in slum ghettos because they wouldn't listen to, the th to a thing I said when I sent my servant prophets preaching tirelessly and urgently. No, they wouldn't listen to a word I said, God's decree. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, remember, this letter is written to the people who are in exile, right? These are the people who are currently under oppression, right? And God is saying that, cause you would think, well, all this happened to me, that means God must be punishing me. Right? God must be, I, this, this must be a punishment on me and they must be doing something right. Because it seems like everything's going all good for them. It seems like everything's working out for them. It seems like everything they set their hand to do works. And it seems like everything I'm doing is falling apart. So it must mean that I'm in the wrong here. It, mean, it must mean that something's wrong with me. Now wait a minute, hold on. Check out what he's saying. He's saying the people that I left in Jerusalem are the ones that I'm gonna judge. The ones that I left there, the ones that I left in the land, are the ones that's gonna experience war, hunger, and disease. These are the people that's gonna experience my wrath. So wait a minute, are you, letting, are you telling me that God exiling me was actually my deliverance? Are you telling me that the reason why God allowed these things to happen to me is because he's actually delivered me from a worse fate? Are you letting me know, are you really seriously telling me that the reason why I'm so embarrassed right now, the reason why I'm going through like this right now, the reason why I've been so broken the past couple of days, the reason why it seems like everything is falling apart around me is because God is delivering me? Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You thought God was trying to punish you and what God was actually doing was showing you his mercy. He was literally taking you out of the way of judgment. And the only way to get you out of there was to exile you. Because you wouldn't let go. You wouldn't let go of your old ways. You wouldn't let go of your issue. You wouldn't let go of it. So the only way I can do it was to exile you. The only way I could do it was to force you out. I told you to stop being friends with them, you wouldn't stop being friends with them, so I allowed you to have the argument. I allowed them to do you wrong, so you can see for yourself what I was trying to get to you the whole time. And had I left you there, what would have happened? Think about it, if God didn't get your attention, right? If God didn't get your attention, if he didn't do the things that he did to get your attention, to make you recognize your need for him, where would you be right now? Could it be the reason why your car broke down was because that there was a bullet, a stray bullet on its way to you and had you not broken down the place that you broken down? You was like, well God, it must be because I didn't tithe. It must, it, must be, it must be because I did this wrong. God's punished me. No, sometimes the reason why God is doing the things that he's doing is because he wants to save you.